the place where fitna is presented to is the human heart. You think it's your eye that saw what was haram? Or did you think it was your ear that heard what was haram? Or did you think it was your hand or any other part of your anatomy that touched that which was haram? Akhil Karim, dear sister, these are just gateways. The entry, the destination is the heart. Fitna goes straight to the heart. And this is mentioned explicitly in the hadith which Muslim narrates on the authority of Hudayf ibn al-Yaman that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said تُعْرَضُ الْفِتَنُ عَلَى الْقُلُوبِ كَعَرْضِ الْحَصِيرِ عُودًا عُدًا Fitna, tests, tribulations, temptations, whatever they may be, they are presented to the hearts. Fitna by fitna. The same way that a reed mat is woven stick by stick. One at a time. Fitna by fitna, temptation by temptation. One at a time, it's coming to the heart. He explains, he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, listen to this beautiful hadith. He said, Therefore, any heart that absorbs the fitna, it takes it in. What happens? A black dot is placed upon that heart. You feel that darkness, you feel that gloom and misery when you don't lower your gaze, for example, or cover your ears, for example. You feel that black dot almost physically. He said, But any heart that repels this fitna with patience, it turns away from it. Despite the pain, he said, a white dot will be placed upon that heart. This continues to happen till one of two hearts will develop with a person. There's no third. Till one of two hearts. He said, مثل الصفحة فلا تضره فتنة ما دامت السماوات والأرض. One of the two hearts will eventually become so white it will look like a white stone, pure and clean. Therefore, no fitna will ever harm it, so long as the heavens and the earth endure. Allahu Akbar. May Allah give us that type of heart. What is the second? والآخر أسود مربادا كالكوز مجخيا. لا يعرف معروفا ولا ينكر منكرا إلا ما أشرب من هواه and as for the other type of heart that's just allowing anything in it will end up looking like a black and grey dust coloured vessel that is upside down upside down and you can try to pour this cup with water all you like when it's upside down it will never fill he said that's what the heart will look like towards the end black dust coloured upside down not recognizing good not forbidding evil, but being obsessed with sins. So you try to offer that type of heart admonition and reminders, it just deflects it. You give it ayah, hadith, Quran, sunnah, you know the person's not dialed in, he's not there, they're not checking in with you. It's deflecting it. So where is fitna presented, dear brothers and sisters? Where does it go? It goes to the heart. Why is it that when you see something in the street that you know maybe perhaps you looked at it a little bit too long and then it disappears and khalas, you go and TK Maxx and you do your shopping and you, you go home and you come to sleep, you close your eyes, la ilaha illallah, the image is still there. What happened? It went to where? It went to the heart. That's where fitna goes. How is it that you may hear something? You know you should have closed the browser. You should have swiped left. Right? You know you shouldn't have given it your eardrums, but you do. You switch it off. You say, Astaghfirullah. I didn't need to do that. You go home, you play with the kids, you go to sleep, switch off the lights, pin drop silence, you hear the track. What happened? It went to the heart. You go on the internet, you read something you know you shouldn't have read. It's a shubha, it's a doubt. It makes you shake in your religion. You switch it off, you go home, you come to sleep, you can still read it, you can still hear it. Your iman is now lingering. Why? Because it went to the heart. And the same can be said about khair, goodness. You come to a lecture like this or any other one, and you feel uplifted, you feel strong, you feel now buzzing with iman, you feel light emanating from you, even when you are leaving the masjid. Why? Because that khair went into your heart. So fitna is presented to the heart. Remember that your eyes, your ears, they are gutters, gutters. Imagine this, huh? gutters. And they are pouring their contents into your heart. 
and we're just allowing these gutters to pour everything at any time of the day into that poor heart. It can't take it. It can't do it. Then you ask, I'm anxious, I'm anxious, I'm miserable, I'm upset, I'm unstable, I'm unhappy. What have you filled those gutters with? What have you filled those gutters with? Because whatever you've chosen to fill them with, they are pouring where? Into the heart. 